Belle. I'm sure you're good Christian people. Now I know you're thinking an Indian Bible like this must cost two or three hundred dollars. But we're not in this to make a profit. But to take your only Bible. We're only interested in meeting the needs of this family crisis. So this precious antique is yours for only fifty dollars. What do you think, Harvey? Such sweet children. Wait here. I'll check the lobby for our next picking. Let's not get up for today, Lily. I want to see Simon and Simon. Sometimes I think the only things you care about are food and TV detectives. That's the name of that tune. Tony Barretta. You know, the guy with the bird. Giving that macho jungle hat a chance to shoot back. At least just let it get a little lower, okay? I don't want to go chasing this guy all over the hell. Down and down, man. I don't trust him not to have a scope of his own checking out the drop site. If Hilliard ever finds out it was us who stiffed him, he's gonna come after us and slaughter us like cattle. Uh, Hilliard ain't got the manpower. To find us the place in the sun we got picked out. We take his money, resell the blow. Disappeared forever. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. This is sick duck. <sighs> Sayonara, Mr. Macho. Great. Except you shot him too high up. He's drifting away. Look at that. Come on, man. Let's get our money. This guy shot. I think he's dead. That's not all. That backpack is full of money. Hundred dollar bills. Used hundred dollar bills. Only drug dealers carry cash like that. How do you know? Don't you ever watch Jake and the Fat Man? Hurry, whoever shot this guy must be close. guys. 
stole them. Them are rich. We can't just hide. We need to get some protection. Well, I must admit that uh, this is a very unusual request for us. I can't recall. P.S. has ever having been asked to supervise two children before. I mean, even if their parents are rich. But you can see how unusual these circumstances are. What with their parents trapped in New York on a business matter, and the children on a long weekend from their boarding school. Are there no other relatives in the area? <sighs> Only their antique grandfather. And they're a handful. I can hardly keep up with them, let alone offer security. Their parents are always worried about kidnapping. Three or four days, huh? Hmm. Money is not an issue here. Their parents are part of the Cahuilla tribe that own all the land Palm Springs stands on. They're very wealthy. All your expenses will be reimbursed. Would, uh, 2,000 cash be a sufficient retainer? Yes, that would be fine. Uh... As a matter of fact, I just happen to have a married couple on my payroll who would be perfect for this assignment. Good, right? No way. Wait a minute, what is your problem? This is such an easy assignment. I, I was thinking about charging it off to your vacation time. Huh? I'm a cop, not a babysitter. I know. But Cody, I know that. That's why when this little job is over, I was planning to put you on that insurance fraud case in a Rancho Mirage. Well, in that case, I guess I could put up with anything for a couple days. <laughs> in fact, I already am. Oh, very amusing. Sorry, Mr. Durning, but some of us just aren't as vulnerable to petty bribery as others. Oh, that's right. You only take the big bribes. <laughs> to me, children are like fingernails on a chalkboard. I can't deal with them. The closest I want to get to motherhood is having a mother, and mine disappeared very early. So this assignment is a no-go, washout, uh-uh. What's that? A PSI Platinum credit card. Ooh, Platinum, my favorite color. You'll be authorized to charge all expenses within reason to the company. I've been told that uh, money is no object to the parents when it comes to showing the children a good time. I knew exactly what we could do with that card that the children would love. Take the Concord to Paris. Wrong. Travel is very broadening for children. Uh-huh. Think of something else. Wow, this reminds me of Robin Master's place on Magnum. <laughs> Believe me, Charlie, there's no one around here remotely resembling Thomas Magnum. I like this place, eh? Wow, look at that pool! What? Don't you have a pool at your house? Oh, sure, an Olympic-sized one. But it doesn't have a waterfall, does it, Charlie? No, but in the house of the Lord are many mansions. Oh, hey. Yeah, so you know your way around the scriptures, huh? Our parents insist that we study the Bible on a regular basis. Well, good for them. Hey, maybe some of it will rub off on Mrs. Powell. Can I ask you one question? How do you live like this on security guard salaries? Uh, coupons. Coupons. I, I skip coupons. It's her passion. They actually live in an old shipping container, if you can believe that. And he sees them around here all the time. How do you know it's the same two kids? The scooter. Are. I don't know anything about two kids. <laughs> well, that's odd. Because uh, their motor scooter is leaning against your wall, and several people saw you leave with him and that, uh, and that old pickup outside. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. What the hell are you 
don't. Hey, that's my money. You oh, can't. No, 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 no. This is mine. So the kids paid you to help them, huh? Okay. Time for game plan is over. Now you just hold them right there. Job. How can you get a boob job when you don't even have food? <laughs> I wonder if we're ever going to get anything to eat around here. I wouldn't count on it. I asked for a grilled cheese a while ago. She put the cheese in the toaster. <laughs> they have separate bedrooms. Don't you know that? I went through things. You don't have to do that anymore. We've got it made for the rest of our lives. If you don't do something stupid. Yeah, those two goons don't show up. Wait. <gasps> what are you doing? Shh. I'm trying to hear what they're saying. What for? They are a strange pair of kids. I spotted her going through my things earlier. So what? what? Don't young girls like to go through a woman's things? Maybe. But they didn't say a word all the way over here. Hey, they're kids. They're shy. You know, as soon as we start showing them that good time that we promised them, then they're gonna loosen up. Here, yeah, look at all the places we can go. Now. Look, the water park, Dinosaur Village, you can go to Angel Stadium. I'm talking about Dinosaur Village, Angel Stadium. She's a young woman. She's not gonna wanna go to the same place as her kid brother does. So what do you suggest that we do? We split up. You take Charlie to the things he's interested in, I'll handle Lily. I don't know about that. A young girl like her, she's very impressionable. And what is that supposed to mean? It means I don't want you setting a bad example for her. I want you on your best behavior. Oh, I think the life of an undercover cop is Ozzie and Harriet. Meaning? Meaning? You spend more time around prostitutes and junkies than Al Capone ever did. Oh, no, we don't need that right now. Attention, attention, you're all under arrest. Hands against the walls and spread them. <laughs> Give me that. Hey, listen, you want to ride with me? Yeah. You want me to take you to nice places and you better behave yourself. Well, where are you going to take me? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll take you to the water park. Huh? Maybe I'll take you to see the dinosaurs. Can I take your gun out of the glove compartment? No. PSI's offices are located on the lower level. You can take the stairs or use their elevator across the lobby. Lower level? I'm not going anywhere. So what are we waiting for? That's the kid. You want your face in a room full of cameras and guns. What goes down, what's come up. afraid that one would be against the law. What law? The law of physics. Okay, Charlie, buckle in. We should take him now? He didn't have any money. My bet is the girl's hiding it. Let's just let him lead us to her. Here we go. 
Isn't that pretty? Mm, I love it. Ah, one more thing. What's this? Mm, a little gift that didn't go on the credit card. From me to you. A training bra! <laughs> <laughs> but what am I going to put in it? What the rest of us all start out with. Tissue, of course. <laughs> But I'll show you all that later. Right now, we've got to get ready to go to Dinosaur Village. I don't want to go to Dinosaur Village. That's for kids. Yeah, big ones and little ones. Cody's using Charlie as an excuse to drag the rest of us there. Why do we have to go if you don't want to go? Lily, sometimes a woman has to lose to a man in an early round so she can score big in the later rounds. Get what I mean? Yeah, that's how I handle Charlie. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go change back into your kitty clothes? I don't want Cody accusing me of influencing you with my values. I think you have wonderful values. Great. It's probably Hilliard again. Hello. Have you found my money yet? No, sir, but we're very close. You know, you always say that. Now, are you trying to stall me or planning something stupid? No, sir. We're not planning anything stupid. We wouldn't think of it. 24 hours. Then I send Jensen's team in to clean things up. here to learn about the birds and the bees. We're here to learn about the dinosaurs. What do birds and insects have to do with sex? Hey, I'm confused about that also. You care to go into a little more detail? Huh? Can I have some cotton candy? Or junk? Yeah, give us the money. All right. Meet me on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this place is so big, I could search it for a week and not find the money. We gotta make them kids talk. It's probably the girl who hit it, and I'm very close to grabbing it. Yeah? Well, where do you want to meet up? Somewhere where the kids' screens won't be heard. The old shack in the Andreas Quarry. It's done. Oh, you are right, Mrs. Paul? Oh, yeah. The only time I felt better when my VCR ate up my Jane Fonda tape. Well, you know what I always say? No. You've seen the top of one dinosaur, you've seen them all. Oh, all right. All right, enough climbing. Want to really impress you folks with how nice we're being to you? Let's go to the gift shop and buy some postcards. Rat and Lily, is she chicken out? Lily doesn't chicken out of anything. Don't worry, I'll go find her. Here goes Lily. Who's that guy behind her?
You guys all right? Thanks. You see? We got trouble. Listen, I get... Uh, kids, I wonder if you could excuse us for a minute, okay? And Jojo, why don't you... Why don't you take the kids in and gather up their things? Why do we have to gather up our things? We like it here. I can imagine. It's so tidy. Jojo? What's going on? Chief Hollings called. They found the man who brought those kids to PSI, this John White Eagle in the desert, outside Indio. He'd been severely beaten and left to die. Beatings, kidnappings? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Cody. Wait a minute. Kidnappings, what are you talking about? Hey, somebody tried to grab Charlie. Where? Why didn't you call me? Well, we don't want to talk in front of the kids. They're scared enough as it is. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Hey, all I know is that somebody made an attempted kidnap on Lily when she got away. Guy went after Charlie. Right. Chief Holly's for you, Mr. Durning. Turning here. What you got, Chief? The doctors are absolutely amazed the way the old man just keeps hanging on. But, Mac, according to what you told me, you may have a problem. Oh, what problem is that? I'm standing here with Russell Gray Fox, Chief Counsel for the Kawea Tribe. Now, according to him, White Eagle is in no way connected with them. As a matter of fact, if he's given you more than $2 in cash, you'd better look around and see if any money's missing. Chief, put Russell on, will you? I could use some advice from him. Sure. Matthew Denny. The new clothes Mrs. Powell got for me are in the dressing room. Oh, well, why don't you go get them? I hope you can help out, Matt. It's a terrible thing the way this old guy was tortured and dumped. Russell, old White Eagle left two kids with me that he said belonged to very rich parents with the Kawea tribe. Now, if he's not their grandfather, do you have any idea at all how he might figure into this thing? If you've got two kids, Matt, that say they're from the Kuya tribe, I think you better bring them by my office. I'm sure that I can identify them. I'll bring them right over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Uh, uh, I think it's time we got out yeah. of here. But I like Yeah, I see. Cody can protect us. Come on. Uh, about a half hour, Russell. Okay. Something very bad is going down here. It somehow involves those two kids. Has anyone seen Lily or Charlie? They were just with you. I know, but they're not there anymore. No, 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 but it's beginning to look like we got another connection here. The guy in this bag is Tony Butler. We just got a bulletin from DEA that he was in the area. What happened to him? From what we can tell, he jumped out of an airplane and had a collision with a bullet on the way down. Sweet. Yeah. And somebody came in here on a set of wheels and cut something loose from his belt. The drugs. <laughs> well, he dropped in to make his connection, his buyer, or somebody's waiting there to kill him and rip him off. Except for one thing. The first set of wheels in and out of this area are smaller than those on a regular-sized motorcycle. Like how small? Oh, like about the size of a motor scooter, which has been described as belonging to two kids who live out in the same shanty town as White Eagle. Lily and Charlie live in a shanty town? According to Gray Fox, he's on his way out there right now. Well, it took him a few hours to put that information together. These guys are professional killers. Imagine what they could put together in a couple hours, especially if they've been burnt on this deal. Which is why they tried to grab Charlie and Lily at the park and why they searched our house. Where is this shanty town? About five miles east of here. Danny. You stay out of this. Now, that's an order. I'm talking to a mother here. Mr. Turner, you can't set me up in a relationship with these kids and then just cut me off. I'm involved. Cody, I'm holding you responsible for anything she does. What else is new?
fine, really. It's okay, Charlie. You don't have to come out if you don't want to. Gonna sit right down here. If you want to come out and talk to me? I'm gonna be sitting right here. You didn't say goodbye. I was in a hurry. Still in. So this is where you really live, huh? Not for long. We need to talk. But you're scared, aren't you, huh? Well, it's okay to be scared. When I was a rookie cop in New York. I was scared every day of my life. I remember one time I had to go into this old abandoned building to get this escaped murderer out. My hands were shaking, my heart was thumping. By the way, yours is thumping right now. But the only thing that kept me from running was this, this partner of mine, this old cop, Ernie. His only job was to make sure that I didn't get hurt, make sure I did the right thing. That's what you need, Charlie. You need somebody that's gonna make this world a little less scary for you. Hey, you know, I never had a big brother. And I was just thinking, I sure would like to be yours. Well, I'm gonna go find your sister and Danny. parents were killed in a car years ago. We got passed around to aunts and uncles for a while, but they've got their own kids to feed. Look, I understand you've had a hard life, but you're mixed up in something now that can harm you and many others, just like John White Eagle. I didn't know he'd be hurt. I know. Old White Eagle is our friend. We watch out for each other. Where's Charlie? He's out there hiding someplace. Crime scene's me. Security people are already here. Our kids are probably here too. Let's go back to the house just in case. And I'll be in touch. can't keep the money. That money belongs to a couple of known killers. We don't know about any money. You really think this is worth dying for, Lily? Every time I look around this place, I know what my future is going to be. Junkie, bar girl, hooker. I've got one chance to change that. And I do think it's worth dying for. I think I have an idea. Will you mind sharing it with me? I will if it pans out. Hey. hey, Russell. Hey, thanks for coming. I see you found me. Yes. such things disgraces your Indian heritage. We're not full-blooded Indians anyway. Our mother was Mexican. Then you disgrace both heritages. I'm late for an ape-tribe powwow over the reservation. I just want to make sure that both of these kids are taken care of. Yeah, they'll be taken care of. We're going to take them back to PSI right now. Come on, let's go. Charlie! They're taking us back to PSI. Fine. Fine. Yeah, you gotta tell you something.
you something. Seeing you with these kids is like a revelation. It's like a whole new Danny Powell. Yeah, well... Yeah, well, what? When I was Lily's age, my aunt sort of took me under a wing and showed me some of life's possibilities. I guess this is my way of paying her back. Take the kids back to PSI. Fine. I'll call you tell you where to meet me. All right. That's it. Come to Mama. Follow me. Come on. his money or his merchandise or your heads he's tired of waiting don't worry about it everything's gonna work out good thing you're here though i could use your firepower to solve a little problem what the hell cody just what is danny doing out there i said reasonable expenses what do you mean oh you know nothing about this right no Danny has charged over $60,000 to that platinum card in the last hour. The credit card company called me because they thought I might want to know. Sixty grand? Yeah. Well, that's too much even for her. Oh, really? I want to find her. I want to make her take everything back. Let's go, kids. Cody, you leave these kids here with JoJo, you hear me? Right, come on. Sit down out here for a second. Listen, you know what Danny's doing out there? Hey, turn that off a minute. She's using herself as a decoy on those people that are after you, too. What? Yeah, they don't want you, too. They want the money that you got. And she's trying to make them think that she's got all the cash. You know why she's doing this? To protect me and Charlie. That's right, Lily. She's risking her life for the two of you. Charlie hid the money in Mr. Gray Fox's truck. Under your spare tire. All right. Then you stay here, okay? Don't go away. Hello? Danny. Now, first of all, you should have never pulled this little stunt without telling me. Oh, well, thank you for sharing that with me. Well, these punks are close to you. You could say that. Well, it doesn't matter anyway now, because I saved you the buttons. Now listen, the money is up on the Indian reservations in Russell Gray Fox's truck. He doesn't even know it's there. Right. Okay, see you later, sweetheart. All right. Danny. Hey, Dory. Make sure that all units are watching out for Danny, all right? I mean, something weird might be going on. She just called me sweetheart. That is weird. <laughs>
On behalf of the Kuya people, I wish to welcome our visitors from nearby. The Luisinos, the Chumash, the Serrano, as well as our special guests from throughout the Southwest. The Navajo, the Apache, and the Pueblos. Hello. Russell Gray Fox. Russell Gray Fox? I'm sorry, he's at the powwow up the canyon. Well, I gotta see him. How can I get a hold of him? There's no way to reach him. All right, then I got a message for him. And I want you to get it to him real fast. Tell him it's life and death. do anything stupid. You're outnumbered and there's no way you could shoot it out. No problem. on Indian land. These will let us go anywhere we want. So unless you want a lot of dead Indians, give me my money. Oh, yes, your money. <laughs> All right, I'll trade this for Dan. I'm gonna toss it halfway out. When she passes by, you pick it up, agreed? All right, let's have it. We don't need your poison or your money. We have one last purification ritual to perform. Hey, that doesn't belong to you. That's our merchandise. I believe we should add this to the fire too, Chief. Oh, no, no. This is where it ends. Unless, of course, you want to see a bloodbath. These men behind me are weapons experts, and their kill ratio is 20 to 1. And they'll begin on my command. Before you do this, don't you have some kind of boss you got to talk to? The mistakes have changed considerably. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Are you crazy? Not crazy enough to go up against this many guns without specific order. Good, cautious man. You live a long time. Hello, it's Jensen. Have you solved my problem? Actually, sir, we have a bit of a situation here. At the moment, we're surrounded by dozens of armed Indians. Are you drunk, Jensen? No, sir. We're on the reservation, and they don't seem to like it. Do these Indians have my money? Not anymore. They just burned it up. Uh, uh, all right, all right. Now, listen, you take the dope from Shields and... and... Excuse me, sir. The Indians have your merchandise as well. What the hell is going on out there? I want you to waste those two dumb sons of... I can't right now, sir. We're outgunned 10 to 1. Now, what can you do? Surrender. Chief, we're laying down our weapons. 
weapons. Uh, you can't do that. What? Now, you'd save me a lot of trouble if you tried to shoot it out with these guys. Your move, General Custer. taking care of all his medical bills. If the money I saved isn't claimed by the rightful owners. It'll never happen. They're all headed for a slammer, right, Cody? Oh, yeah, hey. <laughs> kind of agree with my little brother here. Mm -hmm. I've already started the paperwork on a trust fund for the both of them. Oh, well, that's fine, but... What about your wife? Have they met her yet? We went by the house, Maria made lunch, and we talked about it a little bit. It's a cool house. She really knows how to cook. Not just the microwave. <laughs> I don't think Lily has made her mind up. Oh. What's the problem? Those people are experienced foster parents. They want to give you and Charlie a real home. A girl as smart as you should jump at that. I take care of us. Why should I let those people take over and tell me what to do? Because you deserve some time to be a kid. The power you have on the street isn't worth the responsibility, Lily. Take it from me. I know what I'm talking about. I've been there. You were a street hustler? <laughs> I could tell you some stories. As a matter of fact, I will if I know where I can find you. Okay, Mr. Gray Fox. Let's give it a try. All right. Now it's my turn to write you a letter. Mysteries in the mail is a crime. Tomorrow, CBS Sports kicks off an afternoon of gridiron action live at 12.30 Eastern with the NFL Today. Then the battles begin with the NFL on CBS. Check local listings for the game in your area. All this plus the continuation of action at the Amico Centel Championship tomorrow on CBS Sports. Thanks for watching CBS Tonight. Now get ready for your local news. Tomorrow.